And we're going to Turkey now. The country goes to the polls on Sunday in nationwide local elections that are being seen as a test of national political sentiment. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan is seeking to recapture the economic powerhouse of Istanbul, which his Justice and Development Party lost five years ago to the opposition. There is an old saying in Turkish politics, who wins Istanbul, wins Turkey. The country's largest city and commercial heart is home to nearly 16 million people, about a fifth of the Turkish electorate. Five years ago, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and his ruling Islamic conservative AKP lost Istanbul to the opposition. Now, they want to win it back. We will work hard day and night, and God willing, on April 1st, Istanbul will be reunited with its owners. Erdogan isn't even running in this election, but you wouldn't know it listening to his supporters. I am with Tayyip Erdogan until I die. God willing, we will win. He's the leader of the entire world. He stands up to everyone. Erdogan has been using his own popularity to support the AKP's candidate, former Environment Minister Murat Kurum. Istanbul's elections are not just about who will be the next mayor. The outcome is also personal for President Erdogan. This is the city where he grew up and where he launched his political career as mayor in the 1990s. It's also where he saw the worst political defeat of his two-decade rule. Because of this man, Ekrem Imamoglu from the secular opposition CHP, Istanbul's incumbent mayor. Back in 2019, Imamoglu managed what was long thought impossible. He won the city hall in a heavily contested repeat election against Erdogan's candidate. The vote turned Imamoglu into an instant figure of hope for the opposition. Today, he's widely perceived as the main rival of President Erdogan, political scientist Berg Essen tells me. Whoever uh, wins the uh, mayoral seat in Istanbul has access to enormous amount of public resources, employs tens of thousands of people, and gains uh, a, a national platform uh, to conduct politics. So if Imamoglu can win this uh, election, most likely he's headed for becoming the uh, main uh, contender for the presidency against Erdogan. Imamoglu's re-election campaign has been focused on easing the city's chronic traffic problems and making Istanbul safer, given the major earthquake risks in the region. But he's also faced with growing poverty among the city's residents, mainly because of the government's failure to bring soaring inflation under control. Although the elections are local, the stakes are high. For the main opposition party, this is really a crucial election because if they were to lose Istanbul and quite possibly Ankara, then their voters are going to be demoralized and probably lose much hope of uh, unseating Erdogan through the ballot box. And that is really going to almost coronate Erdogan for the foreseeable future and that he'll remain as the president of the country until he basically quits uh, politics. Polls suggest the vote in Istanbul will be a close-run affair. A consequential race, not just for the city, but for Turkey's future. Now, our correspondent, Julia Hahn, filed that report. She joins us now from Istanbul. Uh, Julia, it, it, it seems a lot is at stake in this local election. Do you get that sense when you uh, speak to voters in Istanbul? Well, yes, I think the upcoming elections, local elections, are widely perceived as the opposition's last chance, at least for the next couple of years, to challenge President Erdogan's power. Erdogan was re-elected as head of state last year. His ruling AKP and its allies won a majority in parliament, so he really has a very tight grip on the country's politics and national elections aren't scheduled until 2028. So basically it's now, or perhaps never, for the Turkish opposition. But at the same time, I sense a lot of election fatigue 
peak, particularly among opposition voters, anti Erdogan voters here in Istanbul. Uh, many people were left disillusioned after last year's elections uh, about their ability to change politics here, to change the government through the ballot box. It remains to be seen if and how that will affect Sunday's vote. Now, if the opposition does get re-elected in Istanbul, will that really pose a palpable challenge to Erdogan and his party? Well, that's still a big if, of course, and I think it's very important to add that back in 2019, when Ekrem Imamoglu spectacularly won the Istanbul City Hall, he had the backing of other Turkish opposition parties. But since then, the opposition has fractured. Parties have announced their own candidates, most importantly, maybe the pro-Kurdish party that could, loss, that could cost Imamoglu votes. Kurds uh, are an important part of the Turkish electorate uh, in the country, but also here in Istanbul. At the same time, Erdogan's AKP might lose votes to a relatively new, more Islamist party. So many factors at play here that could turn Sunday's vote into a real nail-biter. But you're right, Istanbul is widely considered the biggest political prize in Turkish politics. So if the opposition fends off Erdogan's attempt to retake the city, it would boost their morale, their credibility, particularly if they also manage to keep other important cities across the country, including the capital Ankara. It would tarnish Erdogan's image of invincibility and would it would probably put uh, Ekrem Imamoglu Istanbul's mayor on track for running in the next presidential election.